for your story relates to the one we're talking about that you will be encouraged we are having james kamati in studio all the way from kakamega and uh just to brief you a little bit on what we're talking about he he tells me that he came from a very poor background and he went through different challenges and he was telling me his life story and uh, so far so good james kamati yeah karibu tena thank you, thank you. <laughs> kikata, we will still share your testimony yeah, see, yeah people name. must hear that story and Amen. get encouraged Amen. so where were we you're telling me you in primary school poverty and i was asking you your experience and how you transitioned into high school yes <laughs> yeah, so, I, 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 yeah. I was saying that yeah. w- while in primary school yes poverty was still following me yes yeah i was talking about putting on slippers up to class yeah, yeah, so yeah. as much as mm. teachers were helping mm. as much as my aunt mm. was helping me yes i had questions mm. do god really exist yes how come yeah it's only me who yeah. is going through this because yes. all the, all the mm. other students yeah. in school mm. were putting on well yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. shoes mm. everything yeah but again there is a voice that could speak to me and mm-hmm. tell me mm-hmm. i mean the fact that you've come to school yes and you are at home mm-hmm. should, uh, should, tell should, you should 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 tell you that there's something yes. there's a being mm. who has a, a, a reason for yeah. your existence yeah. Yeah. so i pushed on mm. pushed on mm. and uh, uh, in in uh, 99 yes. now i joined high school you were telling me before we go to high school in class 8 you're telling me your experience and your first time to come to nairobi oh <laughs> all right when i'm coming yeah. to nairobi yeah. in 98 yeah. you remember yes. the bomb blast yeah yes, yes. yes. It was around that time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you know i've ne- that time I had never not go, come, uh, to Nairobi. come to Nairobi. Yeah. I'm doing it for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And so every stage, mm. every every town, mm. uh, we are moving into a masking my teacher. We really have uh, reached Nairobi because <laughs> I didn't know how many kilometers from yeah. from yeah. Bungoma. Yeah. So we reach uh, Nairobi. Mm. I do amazing stuff in mm. the in the scouting mm. movement mm-hmm. at the KICC. Mm-hmm. And then people laughed and they were like this child mm-hmm. has something unique. Wow. Those who could mm-hmm. uh, stand to speak mm-hmm. they were commenting on me and they yes. were saying this child yes. you know in mm-hmm. the co-curricular in yeah. the scouting. Mm-hmm. So I become a leader yeah. in the scouting mm-hmm. uh, uh, when in primary. Mm-hmm. So I'm finishing yeah. teachers love me yes. students love me mm-hmm. I'm playing soccer mm-hmm. you know I'm all around. Yes. And I think something began speaking to me. Mm-hmm. You're not just a mistake. Yeah, yeah. You're not just a mistake. Mm. Yes. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow. No, I'm so blessed by your story so far. So after that, how did you uh how was the exam period and how did you get into high school? The uh, exam period was okay. Mm-hmm. So now I do my uh, my KCP. Mm. I pass. Wow. I pass mm-hmm. and, and teachers in primary still follow me. Yeah. I go to just a nearby uh, high school, mm-hmm. a boarding, mm-hmm. uh, a day school. Mm-hmm. It's called Namachanja mm-hmm. High School. Namachanja High School. Namachanja High School. <laughs> it's just yeah. right in, in Bungoma Town. Mm-hmm. That is where I've grown yes. throughout in okay. Bungoma. Okay. Uh, almost 20, 22 years. Mm-hmm. So I go to high school mm. and still in high school, yeah. I think things now are becoming hotter because mm-hmm. uh, the first thing when I joined high school, uh, I'm the cap- captain soccer in Form 1. Wow. I'm selected to be the captain. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because when we are playing interclasses, yeah. I'm showing a you very... You always showing. Yes, yeah. my talent is up there. Mm-hmm. So um, I become the captain. Mm-hmm. You remember we have Form 3s? Yes. We have Form 4s, yeah. Form 2s? Yeah. So guys were, were like, <laughs> I was very tiny by that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. How? I mean, mm. this this guy, how, yeah. how can he yeah. come and yeah. he's being made to mm. be there? The captain. captain yeah so by then now i joined music mm-hmm. music i was very good in traditional dancing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i do very well yeah. we do it up to the national level mm-hmm. by then i'm now made the, the class prefect after wow. that i made the sanitary prefect mm-hmm. after then in form three i'm mm-hmm. made to be the head boy wow. and things just pop up mm. uh, before i finish mm. i'm made to be the cu mm. chairperson wow all right mm. and, and and students were just amazing wow. they began saying this mm. this guy mm-hmm. is going far and so yeah it, so in mm. high school mm. i began realizing that mm. i'm not just a mistake yeah i'm not just a mistake mm. god has a purpose Amen. and i be, uh, i began realizing that god's love is mm. on me mm-hmm. because of what is happening mm-hmm. i'm no longer straining mm. 
-hmm. My aunt is training to pay school fees. Yes. yes. Yeah. But these teachers are not allowing me to sit at home. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Some could uh, speak to the the principal. They mm -hmm. tell him, I mean, Kamati uh, cannot go at home. Wow. Because I was also among the top students, top wow. ten, every wow. exam, top wow. ten, top mm -hmm. ten. Mm -hmm. So they are like, ah, ah, that boy, let him mm -hmm. just to be in school. Mm -hmm. He's our head boy. Mm -hmm. Let him uh, be in school. Yeah. And we will struggle to pay. So eventually, fee. you became the the captain. The yeah, I became captain. the captain. The wow. School, uh, school captain. So as you excelled in school, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering okay. how are things back at home? At <laughs> home well, now yeah. in Bungoma or yes. Shags? Uh, back at home in Bungoma and Pia Shags. In Bungoma, mm -hmm. my auntie is up in the air, mm -hmm. appreciating. Mm -hmm. My auntie has never left church. Yeah. She is a prayerful lady. Mm -hmm. She's called Priscilla Nyangu. Is I she watching love today? Her so much. I think she's watching. <laughs> okay. She's. Mm -hmm. A, a, a lady after God's heart. Amen. She prays. Mm -hmm. Every time she enters yeah. the house, she yeah. has to pray. Yeah. <laughs> Every time yeah. in her businesses, mm. she used to pray throughout. Mm -hmm. And I think she was very happy. Yeah. Every week she mm -hmm. could visit me in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And you know, the teachers are very happy. Mm -hmm. uh, every time mm -hmm. she comes to school, everybody mm -hmm. is appreciating what I'm doing in school. And how about back at home? But back at home, yeah. my dad doesn't know what is happening. Okay. I think I don't want to say mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, because of uh, ignorance, mm -hmm. but I think he switched off. Mm -hmm. He had gone through a lot, a lot, yeah. And he was like, "Let the sister just take over and help." Wow. Back at home, my my grandma was there. Mm -hmm. Of course, my grandpa had died long time ago. Mm -hmm. I never saw him. Mm -hmm. The others, uh, now my my bra my father's sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. They are just there. There's mm -hmm. nothing they are doing. Mm. You know, ukulima kidogo kidogo. Just to make. No, yeah. I never visited that time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I remained focused in mm -hmm. school, and my mm -hmm. aunt told me mm -hmm. just do it. Mm -hmm. But there's a time my my around there when mm -hmm. I'm joining high school, mm -hmm. my my grandma now dies, mm -hmm. and that forces us now to go home. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and we yeah. go home, mm -hmm. and then we get stuck there. Mm -hmm. There's no money to bring us back oh. to the city to Bungoma <laughs> for for almost. Six months, I miss school in high school. Wow, that is pathetic. What what form were you in at this point? I was in uh, form two. Form two. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so mm. we miss school. I mm -hmm. remember we walked all the way mm -hmm. with my dad. Yeah. From um, Huisero, mm -hmm. we went to Shibuli. Those of those of us who know that place, <laughs> we went yeah. to Mias trekking mm -hmm. around sixty kilometers. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. we want to go back to Bungoma. Wow. Yes. So did you make it to Bungoma, or did you we get money? We made it to Bungoma. I, I I think my my dad was looking for there's this poster yeah. issue, mm -hmm. uh, poster thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he had kept his money there. Oh. And so <laughs> that yeah. is the only poster we uh, in in in, in, uh, in Mumias now. Ah, okay. We get to poster, get yeah. some coins. Yeah. And now we go to Bungoma. The reason why I asked you that question is because when you go to a school setup <coughs> yeah. and you're all in uniform, yeah. you look um, equal. Yeah. yeah? But uh, in, as you interact with other students, you realize that you're not the same. There yes. are people who came from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. others were more privileged. Yeah. So I'm just wondering that even as you excelled in school, if your situation back at home, if you remembered and if at some point you felt discouraged or how was the experience I didn't want to remember you didn't about want my experience. <laughs> I didn't yeah. want to. Because I'm imagining if you missed school for six months because you did not have transport. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do want mm. to re remember about home. Yeah. The only thing I wanted to know is that I'm in school. Mm. Those people who are who are taking care of me mm -hmm. were okay mm -hmm. and those who are struggling to make sure that I'm back in school yeah. were okay. That mm. is the only thing and I wanted you really to really wanted to succeed. I didn't want anybody yeah. to talk to me mm -hmm. about, about your... anything negative. <laughs> yeah. Yes. About and if you past, did yes. I could sky. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you wanted to, to excel, yeah. That you wanted to make your auntie wanted. proud, you wanted yes. to change your life. Yes. Yeah, okay. So um when we come back you'll tell us when it all changed, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because yes. you, you're telling me you've been followed by poverty, you know. Yes. Your stories it become like on a poverty, rubber stamp. Poverty, yeah. Poverty. <laughs> but at some point it changed and right now you're doing well and you'll tell us um what happened yes. when we come back we'll take a short break uh do not touch your dial james kamat is here is ready to share his testimony with you as you heard he did not come from a very privileged background but today he's here and he's standing strong and there is a god and in case you're watching today and you're feeling like your situation is impossible we are here to encourage you and tell you that it is not the end that you're still breathing it means that god still has a plan for you so stay tuned and do not touch your dial
Today we are sitting with a living miracle, James Kamati, who's sharing his story on how God uh, pretty much, you know, lifted him up from nothing to something. And um, if you just joined us, this is the testimony segment, and we like encouraging each other with what God has done in our lives. And if you're watching today and you're discouraged, or you have a testimony and you'd like to share, uh, make sure you get in touch with us so that we can encourage people. And I'm sure you can relate with the James story if your story is a miracle story as his is. And remember, Remember, our verse today is Isaiah 48 verse 17, and it says that it is the Lord who knows what is best for us, and he directs our path. And I look at James' story, and I think that God has been, God God was directing him. God was directing you, isn't yes. it? Yeah, even in your poverty and in your auntie taking you up, mm. I see that it is God who was directing your steps to lead you up to where you are today. Sure. Indeed, he's a miracle working God. Sure. Indeed. Is. Is. <laughs> so you are telling me how your life was almost rubber stamped with poverty yes. and you are telling me how it all changed mm -hmm. yeah because you're here today yeah. i think you look fine i think the lord is taking care of you yeah. and you have a testimony to share today yeah. so when did it all change for you james and my life began changing in high school because mm -hmm. i had told you what yeah. began happening in high school yes you know mm -hmm. i see people loving me yeah you know my school fees is being paid yeah i, I don't want to forget yeah. a lady called madame oblingi yeah in high school yes who bailed me out mm -hmm. you know gave the school some 10 gunias of beans wow. just to pay my school fees. wow from yes. her own farm own farm wow mm -hmm. so in high school things the, the way i saw things happening yeah i began realizing there's a direction god is leading me mm. and after high school yeah now, I'm taken by the church, St. Mm -hmm. Crispin's Church, mm -hmm. S.E.K. Church in mm -hmm. Bogoma. Mm -hmm. And, and then in, that, in that church, I, I simply go into present worship. Mm -hmm. I, I become an intercessor. Yeah. I begin now just singing in church. 24-7, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm in the church. Yeah. Napanguza Viti, uh -huh. you know, throughout. For all those years after high school. You were living with your auntie at this I'm time? I'm still with How did auntie. you perform at, in your KCSC? Mm, yeah. I, I performed, I got a B. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I thank God for what I got. Yeah. But I, but I think, again, uh, teachers were blaming on my... Uh, because there's a time I could uh, be at home for a few days. Yeah because of school fees mm -hmm. yeah, because when others are going home and you're mm -hmm. not going home the yeah. school is like yeah. what is happening this guy yeah. is not sent home yeah. and yet yeah. he has a, mm -hmm. a huge fee balance yeah so i thank god for what i got mm -hmm. and uh, from there now i go to the church mm -hmm. The church people take fully charge of me, mm -hmm. Reverend Nandoha. Wow. A very amazing uh, I man hope of you told all your friends to watch today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told them yeah, to watch. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Reverend Nandoha, a very amazing minister of God. Mm -hmm. I go deep into ministry. Yeah. He begins now bringing me up mm -hmm. and then followed by Reverend Kistos mm -hmm. in that church. Mm -hmm. I know they are watching today. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. Yeah. Every time I go back to that church, yes. I'm given a warm reception. Mm. In fact, when I went to launch my CD yeah. last year, yeah. Uh, they are the ones who they bought almost 300 copies wow yes. we'll get to that you're now a gospel musician <laughs> yes i do music yeah so did you want to advance your studies after high school i wanted to advance yeah but uh, after high school my aunt told me mm. there's nothing she could do uh, yeah she had reached her end as well that is where mm. that is how far she could go with yeah it. yeah so she mm. told me mm. look for something you can do mm. and by then mm. i now um, if I'm not in church, mm. I'm doing Mujengo. Ah, okay. So I did okay. Mujengo for one year. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. 200 po, 150 mm -hmm. per day. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> on on Sunday, mm -hmm. I'm in my good church. Yeah. I'm going to praise Jesus. Yeah, amen. <laughs> yeah, so I did that for one year. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a friend of mine called Munene. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes to the same church. Mm -hmm. There's a time he talked to me mm -hmm. and told me, can you do business? Mm -hmm. I, told him, I, I told him, yes, mm -hmm. I can do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Asked me, which kind of business can you do? I told him, <laughs> told any, any business, business that you yeah, give me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but told me, begin, begin small and mm -hmm. see what God will do mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. This guy decides to give me 5K. Mm -hmm. I begin selling Chapati Mandondo, <laughs> all right, yeah. to Mijengo people. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to Mijengo, mm -hmm. but I'm carrying porridge, mm -hmm. I'm carrying mandazi, mm -hmm. I'm carrying chapo. As you do the work, yeah, yeah Mijengo. <laughs> yes, as I do the Mijengo. Yeah, yeah. So during mealtime, mm. I, I serve people. 
Yeah. And, so you would cook from home, carry the home. food. My aunt could help me cook wow. the chapels. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I put in hot pots. Mm -hmm. I go with it. So mm -hmm. break hours. Mm -hmm. The guys are eating. Yes. So uh, after one week, uh -huh. the foreman gives me my money mm -hmm. plus what I've worked for. Mm -hmm. And life continued. Yes. But on Saturday, mm -hmm. on Sunday, any chance I could get. Yeah. I'm right in the church. Mm -hmm. I could plant flowers, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I remember introducing the first tree nursery mm -hmm. in the church. Wow. And the compound was beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and, and people in St. Crispin's mm -hmm. begin loving me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. when, when I sing in mm -hmm. the church, yeah. I sing in spirit. Mm -hmm. They're like, this Amen. boy is yeah. going somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I saw, like, God's love is now on me. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in the church, mm -hmm. I do for quite some time. And after that, you know, when I'm just doing the flowers, yes. one morning, mm -hmm. uh, the wife to Mchungaji, Reverend Kistos, mm -hmm. calls me and talks to me, tells me, there's, there's a woman here who, come from, who has come from Indonesia, mm -hmm. and she's called Primrose. Mm -hmm. Primrose is looking for one widow mm -hmm. and uh, a young person, mm -hmm. and they want to sponsor them. Wow. So I'm like, this is amazing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Primrose talks to me, mm -hmm. and after that, I think I uh, deposits to my account 50,000. Wow. And up to today, I don't know where that lady went to. I tried looking for her on social media. I mm -hmm. talked to, to, to this lady, mm -hmm. Mama Mchungaji. Yeah. We look for the lady. Mm -hmm. when she disappeared after one month, mm -hmm. up to today. Wow. So deposits, mm -hmm. and that gives me courage. Mm -hmm. I can go to, uh, to, to college. School. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So Mama Mchungaji calls me and mm -hmm. tells me now, after this one and a half years, I mean, you can go to college. You, you've gotten some tools. Some, some money, yes. yes. Mm. And uh, I, she tells me to look for people who can give me direction mm -hmm. on what I can venture into. Mm -hmm. I get this gentleman, a very amazing and loving father called mm -hmm. Dr. Mkabi. Mm -hmm. He's a doctor. Yes. I think he was a doctor here at Nairobi Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, back then he was in Bogoma. and tells me, I can only help you. So I yeah. go to him, talk to him. He tells mm -hmm. me, I can only help you in mm -hmm. my field. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a doctor. Yes. But I didn't want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a teacher, <laughs> a, teacher. a servant of the world. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a teacher specifically, I was looking at either Kiswahili mm -hmm. or IT. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So um, he, he tells me, let me give you 5K. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to... Uh, any town mm -hmm. and look for any college just mm -hmm. inquire about the courses you want mm -hmm. all right so one morning i go to eldoret mm -hmm. i go to el dipoli mm -hmm. i knew i could get a good course mm -hmm. in it there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so i begin from there wow i'm going to eldoret mm -hmm. i don't know where eldoret is <laughs> i'm just asking the the, the makanga guys yeah yeah all right mm. so i reach there mm. and uh I'm confused. I don't know where to go to. <laughs> All yeah. right. Mm. So by good luck, I go to the administration. Mm -hmm. I ask just to inquire about mm. ABCD, the courses. Yeah. And from there, I go back. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going back, I had filled everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. So after, I think the intakes were on. Mm -hmm. After one week, I'm called now mm -hmm. to do IT. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Diploma level. Wow. So I said, fine, mm -hmm. let me go for it. Uh, for it. Yes. So I go to church, mm -hmm. testify mm -hmm. of what the Lord has done. And uh, after that, I go, to, uh, I go to my auntie. Mm -hmm. I tell my auntie, I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving for LD. So you, and, you are going to leave at Eldoret? Eldoret. Yes. And my auntie is like, Eldoret? <laughs> I mean, who's taking you to Eldoret? Mm -hmm. You know, she's not aware. I mm -hmm. received a, a scholarship, a, a scholarship yes. from a lady, yes. Primrose. Mm -hmm. She's not aware I've been helped by Dr. Mukavi. Mm -hmm. So I, I just tell her I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I've gotten help. Let me yeah. just go. Because, mm -hmm. because one and a half years being out, uh, out of school, yes. it may be dangerous. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So... She said, fine. Mm. So, Anatafuta Godoro, that one inch, and then Fungia. <laughs> she goes to the market because mm. she was uh, doing business, yes. green grocery, mm. selling omena, nyanya. Yeah, yeah. Na kumbuka kinyekea eh, gorogoro tatu mm. za omena. Mm -hmm. Na unga, you know, aluya with yeah. the unga, they say. <laughs> <laughs> so, ananyekea uh, uh, maindi gorogoro tano, mm. ananyambia, let me pray for you. Mm. Then I go to Eldoret. Mm -hmm. As I go to Eldoret, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to stay to. So that 50,000, was it enough for... 
the 50,000 was yes. enough for registering for one year. For, yeah, one for year. registering one everything. year, everything. Accommodation. It was enough. It was enough. Yes, okay. accommodation okay. in the hostel yeah. was very cheap ah, by okay. then. <laughs> so it was enough for one mm. year. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So, so you I, went, started I got to Eldoret. Yeah. And by good luck, mm. when I arrived at the gate, mm -hmm. I meet a guy we were with together mm. in primary. Mm -hmm. He has also come. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And he's also new, he's asking. Yeah. I mean, do you know the place? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know. I've come for the first time. Mm -hmm. So he tells me I've got a house, yes. one room. <laughs> if, if I could accommodate uh, you today, yeah. as you look for, a place. A place to or live. we can even share because the room was 2000 Yeah. So we could share. Mm. Uh, then I said, fine, this yeah. is God. That, wow. I took my mattress. We went together. Mm. Yes. Wow. I slept on that mattress mm -hmm. one inch mm -hmm. for one month, mm -hmm. eating omena and ugali every day. The, the food that your auntie packed the for you. The food that your auntie gave me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. For one month, mm -hmm. I'm eating omena. You yeah. now wake up in the morning, do the ugali and omena. Lunch up time. evening. Lunch time, no eating. No eating. No eating. Yeah. I stay in college. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, as I'm in college, mm -hmm. I find a Christian union mm -hmm. that is full of life. Wow. I find a Christian union mm. that has people mm -hmm. who are purposeful. Yeah. You know, they are seeking God. Mm. And they impress me. Yes. All right? Yeah. So that, that, actually took my shock mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i had gotten a family yes yes mm. so i continue serving god yeah. continue serving throughout god. Your, your throughout your time yes yeah. mm. now second year mm. a blunder now comes in mm -hmm. there's no school fees yes i tell my auntie things mm. are not working out <laughs> I'm, yeah. this is second year mm. can we organize a fun drive mm -hmm. can you talk to mchungaji yes believe you me we organize for a fun drive mm -hmm. I'm away. Mm. My aunt is doing it. Yes. A very quiet lady. Mm. All right? Yes. She, she cannot, you know, marshal people and mm -hmm. bring them together for mm -hmm. a fun drive. Mm -hmm. uh, the first fun drive we are doing, mm -hmm. we raise 8,000. Wow. Okay. 8,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It was a shock to me. Mm. I had done ministry in that church. Mm. I had sung. Okay. I had gone for missions. Mm. And I was wondering why people could not fundraise enough money for me. Yeah. And that thing was eating me up. <laughs> yeah. All right? Yeah. But again, there's a voice that could speak to me. Mm. Get encouraged. You're yes. now in college. Yeah. You should not give up. Yeah. All right? Mm. So again, there's now a friend, mm -hmm. another friend, mm -hmm. who goes to visit my auntie mm -hmm. and says, I know that thing has flopped. Mm. Can we organize for another one? But this time round, mm -hmm. tell James mm -hmm. Achidi to come. Mm -hmm. So I organize and go. Mm -hmm. So that time, that guy is called Kenneth mm -hmm. Onyango. Mm -hmm. That guy, now we begin moving mm -hmm. one by one, mm -hmm. one by one to mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. talking to them. Mm -hmm. Believe you me, Yes. after one month, mm -hmm. we do a fund drive mm -hmm. and we raise uh, 70,000. Wow. Was that enough for you to finish your course? It was enough now mm -hmm. for second year mm -hmm. and you know the upkeep mm -hmm. again for one year. Mm -hmm. We did another fund drive mm -hmm. when I'm in, 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 a, in a, third, a, a year. third year. You did four years. I did three years. Oh, three years. Yes, okay. I so you managed energy. to finish the I three years. I managed to finish. Yeah. Yes. And after school, how was it? After mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. you know, I go back home. Mm -hmm. People receive me. Mm -hmm. Then I go back again into ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, that is now uh, 2007. Yes. 2007, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. into the ministry. I yes. begin serving God. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I know you know um, our archbishop. Yes. Wabukala, mm -hmm. all right? Yes. He's my godfather. Mm -hmm. I, one day I visit him and mm -hmm. tell him, I'm, I've, I've finished college, mm -hmm. but I want to be a teacher. What can I do? Yeah. And he advises me, tells mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. I want you to go to uh, Kenya Teachers, uh, Technical Teachers mm -hmm. College mm -hmm. here in Gigiri. Mm -hmm. So I, I ask him, what mm -hmm. can I do? Mm -hmm. He tells me, let me let me try talking to the registrar mm -hmm. and see if um, the, there can be a chance. Yeah. So he organizes. After one year, mm -hmm. I'm deep into the ministry, mm -hmm. serving God faithfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remembered something came mm -hmm. into me. Mm -hmm. If you're busy with God's business, He'll he be will busy be busy with your, with your business. business. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That time, that thing was deep into me. Mm. And I forget about it. Yes. One morning, mm -hmm. the Archbishop calls me. By mm -hmm. then, he was my bishop in Bungoma Diocese. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right? Yes. He tells me, a letter is here, mm -hmm. calling you to join the Kenya Technical Teachers Conference. Yeah. 
how many years were you at the technical college at the, uh, the te uh, Kenya technical it's just mm. one year just one year. yes mm. doing the pentagogy mm -hmm. you know the teaching stuff mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. one year mm -hmm. yes and your dream was coming true it was coming true it was coming true yeah. field. Yes. you know you're seeing God lead you mm. from one level to another yeah you know I keep hearing you saying by good luck I met so and so by yes. good luck yes. <laughs> but I honestly think that it is God that was leading you today uh, God, God leading you that time and today uh, maybe you could tell us now where you stand today yeah where and that, that was eight years ago yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so <laughs> you could tell us the difference of where you stand today and, and that time yeah yeah so mm -hmm. after joining the technical teachers college mm -hmm. i qualify i pass highly mm -hmm. then i go in 2010 now mm -hmm. all right yeah. remember i'm i'm deep into the mystery i'm writing some songs mm -hmm. present worship so in 2010 mm -hmm. uh I, I finish my college. Mm -hmm. I go back home, do my teaching practice. Mm -hmm. Then after that, again, I'm told, welcome to the world of hustling. <laughs> All right? So I have my papers. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I'm doing. Mm -hmm. All right? I, I say, I need to go in for it. Yeah. One morning, I would wake up, mm -hmm. take my documents, and mm -hmm. just go to schools. Yeah. Ask for a chance. So did you eventually get, maybe as we... As we uh, prepare to wrap up yeah, yeah you could uh, just encourage us with how with how it all changed and how you're here today it changed mm. i got a job mm -hmm. uh, got employed mm -hmm. uh, with the government yes yes mm. uh, now i went deep mm -hmm. serving the lord mm -hmm. in the church i shifted from bungoma i got a job in uh, kakamega mm -hmm. a school called share your secondary school you told me you teach me how to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, oh, she, 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 you, she, you, yeah, she, you, secondary, secondary school. school. Wow, yes. I hope they're watching today. I know they're watching. <laughs> so you've been teaching there for how many years? I've been, uh, been teaching there from 2012. Mm -hmm. Yes, I teach there ICT. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, that is where I am, and yes. I'm serving God at SEK Christ mm -hmm. Church. Yes. Yes, my bishop or okay, cage and mm -hmm. pastor, uh, pastor, all the priests there. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Serving and you're also together. singing. you in the music ministry as I'm, well. I'm, I'm singing. Yeah. I did my first album in 2013, mm -hmm. uh, 2013. Yes. I did my album. Uh -huh. A very good song, just to encourage Kenya. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. it's called Tayangu. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that album, there's also another song called Yes O Luanda. Mm -hmm. Jesus is my rock. Mm -hmm. You know, when I look at where God How has, he has me. kept you, yes. yes. Mm. So I'm doing, I'm serving God. Yes. I speak to young people yes. in schools. Mm. All right? Mm. In my school, I speak to young people. Yeah. Every day, mm. every Wednesday, you know, mm -hmm. when we are having pastoral cares. Yeah. I, I, I preach the word of God mm -hmm. in church, mm -hmm. at Christ Church. Yes. The people there love me. Wow. And I love them too. <laughs> so I do that ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and God has been very faithful. Wow. I got uh, uh, into marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. yes uh, in 2019. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And even I was shocked mm -hmm. that my uh, my marriage was, cov uh, was covered by uh, your media group. Ah. It was on, on, wow. uh, on your magazine. Yes. So I got you. And, I felt like I'm being loved. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Up to today. Yes. I want to thank God. Amen. What he has done in my life. Mm. There are friends yeah. who love me. Mm -hmm. And I said what? I will mm -hmm. take back mm -hmm. to the people who are lacking. Yes. I may not be having money. Yes. But I mean, but you have a somebody. message. You have a yes. message of hope. Here. Yes. You have your story to share. Yes. You know, the Bible says that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb yes. and by the power of the testimony. Yes. Of our testimony. Mm -hmm. And I believe that every time we testify, I believe that the enemy is shaken yes. because he knows, he can see that he no longer has power over you. And if anyone is watching today, they also know that God can lift you from nothing to, to something. something. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very, very grateful to hear from you today. I'm, I'm personally very encouraged. Mm -hmm. Maybe as we uh, release you and Tikikwambia uh, Kwaheri, you could give us um, the last remark maybe of encouragement for, for someone who may be watching and, you know, that you have um, a message of encouragement for maybe you could look at um, at that camera and just encourage yeah mm. god has given us mm. what we call universal investment yes this universal investments mm. are there for everybody mm -hmm. whether you are a pauper mm -hmm. whether you are a rich man mm -hmm. whether you come from timbuktu mm -hmm. whether you come from shiyue like me yes. you know a small village yeah god has given us universal investments mm -hmm. and how you use this universal investments mm -hmm. will determine where you're going to what are these universal one investments? of them yeah <laughs> is called life life so long as you have life mm -hmm. there's something you can do yes. in your generation mm -hmm. two there's something mm -hmm. that is called time mm -hmm. 
24 hours night, yeah. uh, 12 hours night, yes. 12 hours day. Mm -hmm. God has given all of us. Mm -hmm. We need to maximize on that. Mm -hmm. God has given us what we call grace, mm -hmm. the supernatural enablement yes. that pushes us on mm -hmm. even the time when we are giving up. Mm -hmm. Four, mm -hmm. God has given us what we call talent. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you can cut work. Mm -hmm. I cannot. Yes. There's a unique talent yes. in you. Yeah. And so many people have talents yeah. out there. Yeah. That unique God, ability. Yes, mm. that ability. Mm. All of us have. Yes. There are people who can speak analytically. Yes. There are people who can dance. Yeah. There are people who can sing. Mm. Go in for, the, for mm. that. Mm -hmm. That is an investment yeah. God has put in you. Mm. There's another universal investment mm. that is called a good plan. A good plan. God has given us yeah. that plan mm -hmm. to prosper. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, in Jeremiah yeah. 11, 29, some it. For I know the plans that yes. I have for you. There's that mm -hmm. plan for us. Yes. And yeah. lastly, mm -hmm. God has given us opportunities. Yes. Let nobody lie to you mm -hmm. that opportunity comes once. Mm -hmm. There are so many opportunities. Wow. If, this, if I miss this one, mm -hmm. there are others that will come. Mm -hmm. And there, there are so many yeah. of them. Yeah. So let's go for them. Mm -hmm. They are universally mm -hmm. available. Yes. Let's tap them mm -hmm. to the glory mm -hmm. and honor of God. Amen. And there's something that you told me when we were starting the show that that if someone is discouraged today that they should not think about their past they should begin today uh, moving yes. forward yes you know i'm <laughs> yes. the author and finisher of your faith yes that is what god says yes so where i have come mm. and where i am yes. so if he knew me in my mm. mother's room yes and he he knows me now he will finish. Ebenezer, yeah he will, he finish. will finish so I, I i forget about the past mm. And press I'm forwards. thinking about mm. what I'm doing now, yeah. all right, mm. in my generation mm. and where I'm going to. Amen. Because he lives. Yes. I can face you tomorrow. You can face tomorrow. Yes. Amen. We are so encouraged. Uh, I'm just hearing, you know, everybody who's here is very encouraged. And I'm, I'm very happy to meet you, James Kamati. Thank you. Ukienda, and then 